Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I'm going to go over this Tom DeLong Spire, what I did to it, what upgrades I did to it, uh, what parts I went with, and I guess how much the build cost me. So if you guys watched my channel before, this started out as a $100 Tom DeLong Squire guitar I picked up from Music Ground. It was black uh, in color, it was beat up, and I actually repainted it once black. Uh, I didn't like the paint job, so I repainted it the second time black. And for this third time, I wanted to do something different. So the original neck on the Tom DeLonge Squire guitars, I wasn't a fan of. I have the Fender version. I had two of them actually. So for this one, I just wanted to do something different, having so many of the same guitars. So I decided to sell the neck. I listed the original Tom DeLong Squire neck on eBay, sold it pretty quickly. I went up getting rid of it for around 50 bucks. So then I picked up this neck uh, from Music Around. It was also around $50. Uh, it's from uh, Fender HSS Strat. Um, I don't remember the year right now. Uh, but it wasn't the best shape neck, um, but it, it does the job. I guess uh, the biggest problem with it, um, some frets have some um, like ding marks. I don't know, maybe it was dropped or something, but after adjusting the neck, uh, it plays pretty good. At first when I installed it, uh, I had a lot of fret buzz, but uh, now I basically don't have any fret buzz. After adjusting the neck, adjusting the action, it plays pretty good. So. I put the Fender Vintage tuners that are usually on Tom DeLong Fender guitars on this also. Uh, so I had to drill some holes to make them fit because this had obviously some other type of tuners. But uh, everything came together pretty good. And as you guys can see, I painted it yellow. So it was pretty hard finding spray paint that's yellow uh, online. I don't know why. Um, it was pretty hard to get something close. Uh, to the graffiti the yellow Tom DeLonge has on his uh, signature model. Uh, so I found this and I don't remember off the top of my head, uh, but this paint wasn't great. Um, when buffing it with an ele electric uh, polisher, uh, I was getting like wear marks in the finish. So I don't know, like I don't think this paint uh, is supposed to be on a guitar obviously. Uh, so if I could do it again, I'd use different type of paint and hope for uh, better results next time. But yeah, still kept the original uh, the neck plate. You know, it says Tom DeLong from the Squire version. I wound up selling uh, the Seymour Duncan Invader and the Detonator I had to basically fund this project. And I wound up getting an EMG X in this. I went with the EMG X because I already have a few guitars that have uh, EMG 81s. This is the 81 X. So I already have a few guitars that have the e EMG 81, 85 or 81, 60 combination. So I wanted to do something different. But I like the look of a white pick card with a white pickup in it. So I bought an uncut uh, pick card. I traced uh, the Squire version pick card and I cut it out not perfect uh, there's one spot that I went a little too in on but I think it looks pretty good and it plays pretty good I know um, I don't know the, the Squire Tom DeLong uh, guitars aren't worth that much in the first place right now I've been seeing them go up a little in price but with having the, the Fender version I had two of the Fender versions I was not playing uh, the Squire version at all so I just wanted to do something different to it to get me to play this guitar again uh, so this isn't going to be um, like a tone comparison or anything. There's plenty of videos on the EMG81 uh, all over YouTube. I guess this is just um, to show you guys you know, how the project came out. But uh, I'll play it for a second. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted you know, a more metal sounding Strat uh, instead of the two, you know what I mean? Instead of having three, four guitars that are all sound the same and are basically the same guitar. So... Uh, this is how it sounds like. <laughs>
you guys got the idea. I just wanted a more metal sounding strat. Uh, to, I guess, have a variety in the guitars I have already, so. Uh, this is it. If you guys have any questions or, you know what I mean, you want to do a build like this, you know, hit me up in the comments. I'll try and answer any questions you guys might have. Uh, but yeah, also I went with uh, a ma maple fretboard on this guitar because none of my other guitars have maple fretboards. So I just also wanted something different. And I, I like the way it looks, you know, the maple, the white pick guard, yellow guitar. I think it looks great. So yeah, thanks for checking out this video, guys. And like I said, shoot me any uh, comments or questions you might have. Thank you.